Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival. So today we're gonna take a look at the Odin Minimalist Rain Jacket by Heli Hansen. This is a super lightweight, ultra lightweight rain jacket that you can stash in your pack, take it with you every day, just in case you get rain like I'm getting on and off today. I have a few videos coming up on super ultra light gear and what I mean by that is people who literally cut the tags out to save grams on their backpacking gear when doing a through hike like the Appalachian Trail for example. Now I plan on doing a section hike this year, maybe taking a week out, heading out with some friends and doing part of the Appalachian Trail. And in the next few years, my goal is to through hike the entire thing. So I wanted to get an early start and take a look at all the ultralight gear out there. So stay tuned for some more reviews like this one. This is a fantastic jacket by Heli Hansen. And if you've ever watched a show like Deadliest Catch or you know any Alaskan fisherman, chances are they're wearing Heli Hansen gear. Their primary goal when creating gear is to keep you dry and comfortable. And this jacket definitely does that. It's super lightweight, only weighs 6.5 ounces, and it folds right up into its pocket. To keep that weight down, it only has the one pocket. It has very minimal YKK zips and very light ripstop material, but it still keeps the water out no matter how hard it is raining. Another thing I really find that I like with this jacket is that it is breathable. Even though it doesn't have any mesh or any slits or anything like that, it breathes very well. I've worn it with a t-shirt on and you don't get clammy even when it warms up. And today it's pretty cold out, so I have a long sleeve shirt underneath and I'm just fine with just that and this outer shell. So I've had several other rain jackets over the years. One, for example, was a Marmot Precip jacket and I absolutely hated that jacket. It wasn't as lightweight and it just, it, it was so clammy inside when I'd wear a, a, a uh, you know a short sleeve shirt and even when I wore a long sleeve shirt I would just get so hot it wouldn't breathe and it really didn't keep me all that dry because I would sweat on the inside and it would literally just stick to me and I don't find that's the case with this jacket. So it's made from an ultra light ripstop material and it's got YKK zips which are the best ones you can get and if you take a look they're weather sealing zips so as you zip it up it literally closes that zipper seam and keeps you ultra dry. The pocket has the same type of zip as well. It has elastic cuffs, which are really nice. I know online some places it says it has thumb holes. It does not have thumb holes, at least on this one. It does, however, have an elastic cuff. That's nice when you want to throw it over a larger watch, for example, or if you have larger clothes on underneath, wearing gloves, things like that. I find the cut is very nice. I'm an extra large in most things and this is an extra large and it fits really well. I like that it hangs down farther in the back. It's sort of tapered there so that you get a little more extra coverage in the back. That's really nice as well. Then of course it's got a really nice hood. Not only can you zip this up all the way to give you some more neck coverage, but it's got a very large hood. Now this hood is made to be worn with a climbing helmet for example or any other helmet that you might wear when you're out and it also has an adjustable drawstring in the back so that you can tighten it right down over your head. All the seams on the inside are all taped and it's got this lighter weight material on the inside that again is very comfortable so 100% waterproof and windproof. So as I said this jacket weighs in at just 6.5 ounces and the great thing about it is that it folds down into its own pocket and takes up basically zero room in your pack. You basically just flip the pocket inside out and then you just shove the material in there. Goes in very easily. Once you get it all in there, you simply just reverse the zip and zipper it. It does have a loop here that you could hang it off your gear if it were wet, for example, and it literally packs down next to nothing. Takes up no room in your pack. When you need it again, you just grab it out of the pocket and throw it on and you have instant waterproof protection. On the bottom it also has shot cord where you can draw the bottom in so that's nice if you're wearing rain pants for example you can cinch it down 
uh, right around those. Now the Odin Minimalist Jacket is not cheap. It runs $200. You can pick that up on Amazon. Of course, I'll leave some links below. It just depends on what you're looking for. You can get Frog Togs, for example, for 15 bucks. They do okay, but I've worn through many, many pairs of those. And as I said, I've had the other expensive jackets, a Marmot Precip Jacket, for example, and it just didn't breathe as well as this one. So as with anything else, you pay a little bit more, you generally get a little bit nicer quality, and Heli Hansen definitely knows what they're doing when it comes to windproof and waterproof gear. Now it comes in two colors. It comes in this charcoal color or it comes in sort of this lime green color. I believe you can select those options when you go to purchase one. Again, it's expensive. That's about its only downfall. The closest jacket I could find to this would be another very popular jacket from Outdoor Research, their Helium 2 jacket. That one weighs in at 6.4 ounces, so practically the same exact thing, and those cost right around $150. So again, a little bit high on the price for this Heli Hansen jacket. You may be able to find it cheaper, but you certainly can't go wrong, and you're gonna get a great piece of gear that you can count on when you need it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today, taking a look at this fantastic raincoat. Again, I'm gonna be showing you guys some more ultra light options. It's not cheap. When you go ultra, ultra light, the price goes ultra, ultra up. But if that's something that you're into, especially if you're gonna do some long distance hiking, for example, or backpacking, you might wanna check those videos out. So I hope you liked this video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Leave me some comments below. Be sure to share this video with anybody who might be interested. As always, guys, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for for more videos.